Hola amigos, in this quick video I will explain to you three very common mistakes that Spanish learners make. Uno, the way we say no problem in Spanish. Many people say no problemo. No problemo doesn't exist. We have a word that's problema, not problemo, problema. However, the word no doesn't cancel the existence of a noun as it happens in English. In English, we can say no money, no water, no friends, no blah, blah, blah. And that no cancels the existence of the noun. That doesn't happen in Spanish. In Spanish, we need to use the verb there is, there are. I. So the way we say no problemo or no problem, right, is no hay problema. To never ever say no problemo, that doesn't exist. The right way to say it is no hay problema. Dos, the way we say two weeks ago, three months ago. Many people say dos semanas pasado, tres años pasado, but that's not the way we say it in Spanish. We will need to say hace dos semanas, three months ago, hace tres meses, uh, two days ago, hace dos días. Do never say dos días pasado. Three weeks ago, tres semanas pasado. One year ago, un año pasado. No, one year ago, hace un año. Tres, when you want to say thanks for something. In Spanish, we will say gracias por and then a verb in infinitive or a noun. Gracias por ver este video. Ver, the verb in infinitive. Gracias por seguirme en Facebook o Instagram. Seguir, the verb in infinitive. We won't say gracias para ayudar. We will say gracias por ayudar. Gracias por ayudarme. Gracias por escucharme. Or you can also say thank you for a noun. Gracias por las galletas. Gracias por el video. Gracias por tu ayuda. But we won't say gracias para viniendo a clase. As many people think because we use the ongoing form in English. Thanks for coming. Gracias por viniendo. No. Gracias por venir. The verb always goes in infinitive. Thank you very much for watching. Yo soy Giancarlo y yo apruebo este mensaje. Chao.